Hi, Tina. Now, where, that's near a uh, pretty famous place. What's it near? Khao San. Khao Road, which like, is very, very famous yes. for lots of people from all over the world. And we're here today to visit a little craft beer bar, which is behind us right across the road called Bottle Rocket Beer uh, Bar. Yeah. And guess what? We arrived too early. So, so, <laughs> so uh, it's not open yet, so we're going to do a little exploring and we're going to check out some of the other places around here to maybe have a beer and, and see what's good. So why don't you come with us and check it out. Okay, we're about to do something in Bangkok that's very dangerous. We're going to cross the street. In most places in the world, well, some places in the world, uh, cars give way to pedestrians when they're crossing the street at a zebra crossing. Here, here, sometimes, you really take your life in your hands every time you do it. Ah, are we going to be filming our own death? I don't know. Let's give it a try. We're at Burani Bar and Bistro. We're down around the Khao San area of Bangkok. This is a bit far afield from where we usually go, but as you can see, it's well worth the trip. This beautiful river view. Just chilling while we're waiting for our bottle rocket to open up, which is only like a few feet down the road. We found this place by accident, actually. We're just walking down the road and, and, and Babe poked her head in and found it and then we just walked through. It was amazing. What a great place. Lovely. You have to check this place out definitely if you're down in this area. Well folks, we've landed at Bottle Rocket. This is such a cool little place. Uh, it was worth the wait to come here. Uh, we, we finished up at Burani Bar and Bistro, which was lovely, it's right on the river. But this is like a different animal altogether. It's super small, but super chic. And nice. a lot of yeah. really nice uh, craft beer. So we're gonna get into that in a little more detail in a minute. We're gonna order some and tell you what it's like. And we're gonna speak with the owner, and we're gonna get a feel about what it's like to, uh, to hang out here. So stick around. We're here with the owner of Bottle Rocket, Kun Krin, who's had a very interesting background in food and beverage, and she's going to tell us a little bit about how she came to open this little shop, Bottle Rocket. Kun Krin. My name is Prin. I'm really informed from London, and uh, before I went to London, I really informed about New City International Korea, about hotel management, and internship in Siam Capacity Hotel. Why you came and opened this kind of bottle rocket bar? Actually, I love here. But this this isn't your your only place. You have another place I heard down by down in yeah. uh, Siloam, right? Yeah. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Uh, that one's a sandwich shop. Okay. Uh, it's called Fatty Fatty Tittery. It's homemade. I made my own bed, right. and cake, and soup, and got sandwich flavor, and cookie brownie. Wow. Um, okay. Well, now that we're here at Bottle Rocket, we came a long way. We're very interested to try some of your beers. Can you give us a recommendation of what we should be trying? Which kind of beer do you like? Do you like some stronger or do you see too I, I like a nice lager myself. Okay. Babe, what do you want to try? Yeah, let, let me see after this. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, stick around. We're going to have more uh, about Bottle Rocket in a little bit. You can check out the atmosphere as we go through the evening. There's a little food and they have some specialty drinks as well we're going to be talking about. It's going to be great to stick around. Yeah, it's like, like quarter to six, it's already completely filled. Amazing. Mm, cheers. 
stuff. <laughs> so this is a Thai bar snack. They have a uh, Thai biscuit in the mermaid from Japanese and uh, deep fried crispy pork skin and some nuts. Mixed with chilies. Mixed with chili and green onion. Nice. Yes. Hmm. Crispy, salty. This is perfect for when you're just drinking beer. Mm -hmm. Nice, it's salty, it's just what you want. Not spicy. And then this is the Andemi, right? Yeah. This is, I think, everybody who's ever been to a Japanese restaurant has that. Right, Andy didn't eat like that. It's like this. <laughs> And this is that crispy uh, pork skin. Mm -hmm. I think I'm gonna love this. You wanna drink? Yeah. It's just like um, chili sauce. Especially like in the US, you're probably more familiar with like a pork rind, which is what this is like, but it's much more thick and dense. Mm. Mm. Very tasty, very tasty. All this is so specifically geared to, to, to eat when you're drinking beer. Yeah. Perfect, perfect match. Love it. <laughs> Mm. Okay, up next we're gonna try what is a, just a precious looking little pizza. This is a carbonara pizza. And you got the, the nice uh, egg right on top, but instead of traditional pizza crust, this is a roti crust, mm. which is very popular here in Asia. You can have it either with like a nice green curry or you can have it with sweet chocolate or sugar on top or whatever. But it's, it's a bit more thick than traditional pizza crust and very, very savory. Mm. So a perfect match for this kind of pizza. A bit decadent, but when you're drinking beer, this is the perfect kind of thing to be eating. Babe, why don't you go ahead and try it? So, Okay, the last dish that we're gonna try is a pasta dish. This is a variation, the Thai variation of spaghetti oleo. This is with ham and uh, chili and uh, some garlic and some uh, spicy olives. Oh, yeah. Black olives, thank you. Uh, but I have a feeling it's gonna be a little bit spicy than the traditional Italian version. So let's give it a go. Mm. Mm. Spice, a bit from dry chili and salty from olive. Very good. Mm -hmm. Like any good Thai dish, the spices come in, in, in waves. Not so spicy when you first taste it. You taste this, you get the smokiness of the uh, the ham, mm. and then it, it flows back a little bit on, on your tongue. Uh, it's not too spicy. I think maybe um, uh, they've toned it back a little bit. Mm. But I guarantee you, if you come here and you ask them to make it extra spicy, they can totally do it for you, no problem at all. Yeah. But this is absolutely delicious. Mm. Everybody, we're gonna wrap things up because quite frankly, Bottle Rocket is filling up very quickly with friends and guests, and it's gonna get too busy for us to film anymore. Uh, we just wanna tell you what a great time we've had at this little quirky pub, and we're definitely gonna be back. We will have a big thank you to Kunprint for having us. And Kunprint, you wanna say anything to our viewers? Okay, if you have some free time, uh, let's come to join us at Hotel Rocket. Let's come to our Hotel Rocket. Oh, thank you very much. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, if you like what we're doing, please don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe and leave a comment if you like what we're doing. We'd love to hear from you. I tell you, we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.